Hey everybody, my name is Sarah and I'm using my mom voice. <laughs> my daughter told me not to use my mom voice, but we are gonna go ahead and start filming hopefully once a month when we do our grocery hauls. We are trying to just do once a month shopping except going in the middle of the month to do like fresh produce and any kind of dairy products we might need, um, like creamer for coffee, which is really important. Um, and so yeah, this is our Walmart haul. We've got our Sam's haul coming later. Um, but I've been watching this vlogger. She's absolutely amazing. Um, I think it's Tribe of Many, and she does this once a month grocery thing and saves a ton of money by not just being in the stores and compulsively buying. So we're gonna give this a whirl. We're gonna at least try it for three months and see how we do. It looks like an obnoxious amount of food, especially when I film the, um, the Sam's haul and I have an Amazon haul coming in too. Just not a lot of stuff, but some stuff that we have forgot. So, okay, here's our video. Okay, so this is our haul from Walmart for the month. Um, I didn't realize I had signed up for the substitution thing, so I didn't get exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna be laughing a lot because my daughter is filming me in the background and it's really horrible. Okay, so we've got waters, which we actually got more waters from um, Sam's. I thought it were for from Walmart, but apparently not. Okay, we've got salsa. My husband's on uh, the keto plan. I'm on half the keto plan. The rest I just eat junk, so I think I'm canceling myself out. But um, yeah, we got salsa because it's like basically zero sugars and zero calories, so 10 calories. So yeah, it can go on eggs and stuff like that. Um, we got frozen berries to blend because um, that's one of the only fruits that you can have. Um, just sandwich meat for the kids. These are romaine hearts I'm hoping to make. It's like a keto-friendly sandwich where you put meat inside and cheese and stuff like that. Uh, two containers of cottage cheese, which I don't think we'll get through both in a month because that's a lot. Plus only me and my husband eat those. These will probably be gone in a week. The baby bell cheese. Um, what a new kind. This. Oh, I thought I was getting white cheddar. I got light. Yeah, I'll get those to the kids. <clears throat> this is one of me and the kids' favorite. We got a lot of tortillas because we eat dulce de leche on it, and we also just put cheese on them and roll them up for a snack. I got one of this flavor of LaCroix because my 16-year-old loves it, and then a lot of baby wipes. I don't have a baby, but I do have a hairless cat, and it's one of the ways that we're able to keep him clean. So yeah, that'll probably last for like six months. We are in love with Indian food and got some tikka masala. So all I have to do is put this sauce, uh, which is actually <clears throat> pretty low carb, low sugar, so it can work for keto. We put this in chicken in our Instapot and then leave it and it ends up being amazing. We put it on rice for me and the kids and then on some of the cauliflower rice um, for my husband. Um, and these are just crackers for the kids for lunches. Um, this, I'm trying to transition over from using only olive oil and definitely no vegetable oil um, for cooking because it's supposed to be better for you on the keto plan. Um, I don't think I got the kind that tastes like coconut. I'm hoping not because my husband hates the flavor of coconut, but yeah, I wanna use this for cooking. This is specifically for my husband so that he can stay on plan and it's really easy to make desserts with the dark chocolate. Um, these, I'm not even gonna lie, pretty much are all for me, but I can mix like half of one, the peanut butter kind, um, for a shake for Tim, and it ends up being amazing. And my kids will end up stealing half of those, so yeah. So we got some rice. We got this, which I've never tried, but my husband really wanted it. It's ghee, some sort of clarified butter. It's supposed to be really good for you on the keto plan. Um, and obviously some little magnet clip things. They break all the time. I don't know why I keep buying the same kind, but they help save my food. And I was out of Tupperware. So yeah, uh, like I said, I didn't realize that I was 
signed up for the substitution um, plan and I was trying to get my favorite which is cranberry ginger ale and I thought that they had a bunch left from Christmas which is like the only time you can find it so instead they gave me lemonade ginger ale and regular which is fine I might end up loving it I got these for my husband I found out they are on the keto plan which is great because it's basically just eggs and bacon sausage and cheese um, so those will be an easy breakfast for him we have a new puppy who's about 20 weeks old a little Yorkie and she's never had these little puppy bones before so we're gonna we're gonna try and maybe give her a quarter one see how her tummy handles it <clears throat> and if you guys have never tried this world's best cat litter is literally the absolute best cat litter that we've I'm my daughter like she's just I'm gonna have to ground you stop making me giggle anyway this is the best cat litter you won't even know that you you won't even know that she, she's very loud laugher my rambunctious one um yeah you won't even realize you have a cat the smell is like practically gone and it's flushable even though my husband does not let us flush it we still do sometimes but he doesn't let us so we got some jam i don't know why they're calling it grape spread now which is weird it's jam um this is my husband's only lotion that he swears by and it's really thick and it's grody and none of the rest of us like to touch it but yeah it's really it's goopy you said it's goopy Okay, let's strike that from the record. It's not goopy, it's grody. This is for mainly my girls because I have one daughter with curly hair and then one daughter with ethnic curly hair. So they need as much coconut products as possible. And this is just extra because my 16 year old really likes the Trust Me shampoo. And this is also for my face and my 16 year old's face, hoping that uh, I can get rid of some blackheads. These hurt so bad, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, and this is for my 16 year old. We're just gonna, she's allergic to half of the stuff she puts on her face, so it's kind of hit or miss with her. <clears throat> but we're gonna give it a whirl. You know, we've got Benadryl, we can save her. And this, my husband actually picked out himself because he loves honest, honest Amish. Uh, beard wax. It smells really nice and it makes his beard really soft. Plus his beard is like really long right now so we go through a lot of this. These are primarily because they are keto friendly so we've got a lot of vegetables that are all keto friendly and I have a lot of recipes ready because um, I've been watching this vlogger. I think her name, her name is Sarah but I think it's Tribe of Many and they have like nine or ten kids and I've gotten so many recipes from her for you know just keto products and stuff like that there's my taco seasoning too I need a lot of that um, so yeah I don't know how to turn my camera around because I'm new and I don't know how to use my phone but anyway you guys should follow her because she's pretty amazing and she's the person who was talking about doing her once a month hauls and yeah that's the reason we're doing this. She likes to save a lot of money by staying out of the stores. And since I am a compulsive buyer, I think that this is gonna end up saving a lot of money. So this is our Walmart haul and our Sam's haul. We'll be later on this afternoon, which this person is going to pick up. She's volunteered because she was told to. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah. So one thing that I forgot to mention is I wanted to start um, remembering the prices you know that we've spent to see how much you know we're actually saving because I know how much I was spending in the stores weekly bi-weekly um, so this Walmart haul was a little higher because we had to have you know things like the really expensive lotions and some certain things that were just really pricey that I wouldn't ordinarily have to get every month so this was actually four hundred seven dollars and nineteen cents and that is for the whole month um, but like I said I still have Amazon and Sam's Club so when I get to those videos I'll let you know the price and then add it all up at the end have a good day
Okay, we just got back with our Sam's haul, which thankfully I didn't have to pick up because I've got a 16 year old daughter who I will show you who is resting a well-deserved rest on the couch. There she is, the lovely Allie. She has worked so hard and I'm so proud of her for picking all this up. Okay, so from Sam's last night, my husband and I ordered um, for the month everything that we could possibly think we'd need so that I would stay out of the stores. We're hoping that's gonna happen. Other than just like running to maybe the pharmacy or in the middle of the month, just restocking on some fresh vegetables and dairy products, this is gonna be it. So we figured that for a month, 250 <laughs> maybe will be enough for some styrofoam plates. I prefer, prefer not prefer, prefer paper, but um, you know, we'll make this work. Um, I already have a couple of loaves of bread, so I'm gonna stick this in the freezer. Um, my husband said it's really gross. He did that when he was growing up, his family did, but um, I don't see anything wrong with it. I think it's fine when it thaws out. Um, because he is on keto, we decided to go ahead and get, I forget how many eggs are in this, but there's a lot of eggs. Um, like maybe six dozen eggs, I think. Um, so we'll boil those for snacks and um, he uses those a lot in the morning for breakfast and stuff. Um, heavy whipping cream, it's just what we do in our coffee. Again, keto friendly. Um, yeah, I've never actually had the members mark, the Sam's Club kind of heavy whipping cream, but I'm a baker as well. So I think that if it will work for anything for baking, for making um, my own whipping cream for cupcakes and cakes, then it's gonna get an A plus for me. Uh, we got two gallons of milk. We already have one in the fridge, so I think three will last us for a month because um, we primarily just use it for cereal, the girls do. Um, and I really like, their, <laughs> I really, really like their gallons of milk because they're so easy to pour. Uh, maybe it's just me, I'm weird like that. Um, okay, and we've got some more sandwich meat, smoked, bring on the heartburn. And then this is gonna be our cheese for the month. Sliced cheese like to go on sandwiches and maybe even to knock over some stuff. This is my absolute favorite cheese in the world. Colby Jack, I think it's like underrated, but is that the right way to say it? I don't know, but it's my favorite. It doesn't get enough um, publicity. Cream cheese, I cook with this a lot. We don't really buy bagels so much, but I cook with cream cheese just a lot because it is very, very keto friendly. It's so full of fat, which is great for my husband, probably bad for me because I'm not really doing the keto thing as much. Um, Parmesan cheese, ginormous. I'm thinking this is gonna last us two or three months because we really don't use it that often, but since most cheeses are welcome on the keto diet. I'm just like, hey, let's get one of all of them. Uh, Mexican cheese, um, I already have some in the fridge, so I can throw these in the freezer and it'll be fine to use. It thaws out really well. Um, this was kind of protested by my husband. He says it's not real cheese because it's covered in a powder coating. I don't know, he's wanting me to grate my own block. It's just not happening, buddy. Sorry. Uh, and, our sausages, which we love to use in the morning to um, just, even last night, like I made green beans, a bag of frozen green beans, and I typically don't like um, green beans, but if you saute some pork sausage in there beforehand, it gives it a really nice flavor and add some garlic, so it was pretty good. And this is some new butter that my husband wanted to try because it was from Finland. I don't know why that really captured him. Sorry if you see any parts of my house that's dirty. It's just where we're at right now. Okay, we have got asparagus. I bought some frozen asparagus, but my husband wanted some fresh asparagus as well. Um, this is a lifesaver if you're on keto. Let's see if I can get this camera correct. Uh, it's only 20 calories per serving. It's Riced cauliflower, and it kind of tastes like 
I, you know what? It, it, it's, it smells like a fart. I'm not even gonna lie. And it probably doesn't, it doesn't taste that well, but I know mean, that was crass, I'm sorry. <clears throat> However, if you put salsa in it and cheese and a lot of other things, um, some Indian foods, which we're gonna use this for some of our Indian foods and tikka masala, you can hide the flavor of it and you really can't even tell that it's not rice. So that'll be for Tim and then me and the kids got some regular rice. Uh, sweet peas go like hotcakes in our house. I don't know why, but the girls and me and my husband, we absolutely love sweet peas. Um, we do have five children, but three are out of the house, grown, have their own kids. Uh, two of them do anyway. The other one is in school in a different state, but when he was here, he would eat these like crazy. I mean, just out of the can. They're so good. I don't know why we like them so much, but they're so good. It's almost like a treat. I got a lot of broccoli to steam and cook with some stir fry along with some baby bella mushrooms. Um, this my husband loves because he can have cabbage and a little bit of carrots on his diet. And we mix it with, you know what? I don't even remember what I used to mix it with. It was some sort of like a salad dressing or something like that. And it made some really jam up coleslaw. So he's pretty much the only one in the house that will use that. So I know that that's gonna last for at least a couple weeks. After that, he's just gonna have to deal with it because we are not going back to the store. Um, we've all just gotten over sicknesses, viruses, everything, you name it, over the last two months or month and a half. So we really need some new toothbrushes and to just sterilize our toothbrush holder. Um, this is for me and my 16 year old. They say they're bad for skin, but you know what? I would rather remove my makeup and use these than to leave my makeup on when my aging uh, skin get worse. Head and shoulders. That's my husband's favorite shampoo. It's pretty good. Don't really use it much, but it's good. Um, bulk deodorant. This will last a good, I don't know, maybe five months. So this is not, ooh, scratch and sniff. Gotta do it, what a horrible sound. Let's see, it smells so good. Okay, guys deodorant always smells way better than girls. I don't know why they do that. Anywho, so some of these things I'm not gonna have to buy next month. That's why my bill was a lot larger. Uh, we have got 140 Force Flex garbage bags. I'm so thankful for these because we were just using a cheap kind and they kept ripping and I'm not a fan. Tide Pods. My husband for a time was going to Sam's and he kept buying these cases and cases of Tide Pods. I mean, we had our laundry room just filled with Tide Pods to the point that when people would come over or even like as graduation gifts for some teenagers and that, that were moving on to college, we would give them Tide Pods. Looking back with the Tide Pod scare, those kids eating them, that's probably, it wasn't wisdom, but these kids were good noodles and they didn't do that. So, also something that's not healthy, but we have to have in our house is dryer sheets. I do have the, um, the wool dryer balls to put essential oils on, um, but I just haven't, I mean, they're even sitting on top of my dryer, but I just haven't made the switch over. So maybe I'm gonna start doing kind of half and half. Um, this is some cleaner, again, not the healthiest. I normally use Thieves. Um, I don't know if you guys know Young Living. Um, they've got some really great cleaners out there, but I try to save it for my floor. And you know, when you've been working with chicken and stuff like that, or even in the bathroom, you just need some disinfectant wipes. And these work just as well as the Clorox ones. Um, members Mark, I've not used their dish detergent yet, but I got this as like, to refill my regular Dawn dish detergent thing. I'm gonna see if I notice a difference. Okay, this, haven't even opened it yet. My husband was so sweet to get us a steam cleaner. I say so sweet, I think he was just tired of my carpet being a little dirty. <laughs> He's a clean freak. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this side. Um, oh, this is supposed to be with the fruit, but one bunch of bananas is plenty because I'm pretty much the only person that will eat bananas. It's not on my husband's diet. I like to eat it with just almond butter and the one from Sam's lasts longer because they always have a lot of the green ones. 
We've got chicken breast that will last us, I think, for eternity. Until we see Jesus, it's going to last forever. Um, my husband picked out all of the meat, and I think he went overboard, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe this won't even get us through the month. I don't know. I'm actually not a big cook, but I've been so inspired by the lady from Tribe of Many. I know I keep mentioning her. I'm going to put a link of, of her actual YouTube account um, in this video because she's just really been my inspiration for cooking, for buying differently, and for just um, resetting and refocusing on what I spend my money on and my time on. Um, it's a great, great family who really love the Lord, and I just really like them. So we've got three pounds of bacon, and this, I don't know what my husband got it. He's been the only one that eats the salami, pepperoni, and then hard salami. I don't know the difference. I'm not really, in, I'll eat the pepperoni sometimes. And then, <laughs> I don't know if he knew how much pepperoni he got, but he got four massive bags of the Hormel pepperonis, which are great, except we don't make our own pizza. We just eat these like for snacks, primarily uh, my seven-year-old and my husband will eat these. The rest of us don't really touch them. I don't know if I already showed the salmon, but we got salmon as well. Um, albacore tuna, I'm kind of a snob about tuna. I'll only eat the albacore in water. It is the member's mark, so I'm gonna see if the generic is pretty good. Um, but yeah, tuna's really good for, uh, for the keto diet as well. And these, which are horrible for you, but me and my 16 year old love are the tuna snack salads on the go. They are just, I'm not gonna lie, I've ate two in a row before. They're just so good. Um, Another thing that I found from the Tribe of Many family is that they, because they do keto and trim healthy mama, um, they started buying these bags of real crumbled bacon, which I never would have thought I would like, but I used just a small bag of it and it took about a week to go through. So I think this will last a month, but I can put it on our salads and eggs and pretty much everything and not have to worry about um, making bacon, which uh, I always get popped and I can't stand it. Uh, let's see, my husband got us hamburger meat, pork chops. Remember, we are only a family of five, but this is for an entire month, specifically so that we would stay out of the store really so that I would stay out of the stores because I do have a compulsive spending problem. Uh, these steaks are absolutely incredible. A little pricey, but I think that this, I could actually make this last for two meals because I'm not really a steak eater, so the girls could split one. My husband could have one, and that's pretty much what we usually do anyway. Um, and some more ground beef. So now on to the fun stuff. We got some granola bars for the month. It's a bunch of different ones. Can't take the peanut butter ones to school because no peanuts at school, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, crackers and cookies. These are just for the girls and me. And then I am really digging the scoop chips with salsa. And I got some more salsa. I think, I don't know if I got it from Walmart or what. And we've got chips to go in the girls' lunches. Oh, let me pan over here. This, it's a lot. I really wasn't expecting, I really think this is gonna last us more than a month, but three huge things of bleach because I love to bleach just pretty much everything. I just love to use bleach. Um, paper towels. Napkins. I asked my husband, I was like, you know, can we just get some napkins for when company's over? He got me 1200 so <laughs> everybody come over. Um, Charmin toilet paper because it's just the best. It is the best. And we got 900 more sheets, which I don't know how it was in the beginning, but it's a lot. A lot of toilet paper, so we'll be good in that area. <laughs> uh, this, my girls both love for breakfast. Just when they're running late for school, they will grab these little bites of the chocolate chip muffins. Again, not good for you, but you know, sometimes you do what you gotta do. 
cereals. We got some Honey Nut Cheerios. Um, a couple of us in the house like these. Everybody likes the Frosted Flakes. Kind of a bummer that my husband can't eat this right now because, you know, he's on the diet and it's one of his favorite with a chopped up banana. This I wanted to tell you guys about because this is just a sweet story to me. My husband got two huge things of Tootsie Pops. Um, years and years ago, he had a friend who had a car business. We also have a car business. We sell handicap fans. And this guy, his name is Clint. And anytime you would go into his car lot, he always had these Tootsie Pops. And he was one of the kindest men we ever knew. And he made a huge impact on our entire family. Um, he passed away a couple of years ago, and so my husband wanted to put Tootsie Pops in our new, at our new location of our car lot. Um, I don't know, just kind of to honor him or think of him and stuff like that. So that was kind of sweet. We've got some fruit. Um, my husband can have berries, limited amounts, but he can have berries. Uh, me and my seven-year-old are going through oranges, like, I mean... A lot just a lot I don't know why I'm craving oranges lately I got more LaCroix um, this is oh it's the variety pack grapefruit lemon and lime so that'll work and I was gonna get yoohoo's because I think I was craving them and my husband talked me out of it and we got these honest kids which my eldest daughter gives to her daughter because she's a super good mom and she gives her baby healthy stuff so I'm learning some stuff from her as well and being a mommy, even though I'm a mom of five. You can always learn more. Um, K-Cups, it's so much cheaper buying them in bulk, you guys. It's like $44 for 100 K-Cups and I typically, for like 12 K-Cups, I have to spend about 10 bucks. So I just feel like it was a much, much better deal. Um, this is for our cat Ramses, who will eventually be featured in one of our videos. He is hairless, like I had said before, and he is just a hot mess. So he likes his, um, his friskies. And our puppy actually likes it too. She likes her food, but she also likes cat food. I've looked it up and so far there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the cat will eat her food she'll eat his food they kind of just share and yeah so I don't mind they both are very very healthy so yeah that I think is everything um, and yeah we look forward to doing more videos for you guys to see what we buy and then just weird little things in life so don't forget to subscribe and give us a great big thumbs up my daughter's laughing don't say ooh at your mother okay so i stay out of the stores because i do have a compulsive spending problem uh these steaks are absolutely incredible a little pricey but i think that this i could actually make this last for two meals because i'm not really a steak eater so the girls could split one my husband could have one and that's pretty much what we usually do anyway um and some more ground beef so now on to the fun stuff. We got some granola bars for the month. It's a bunch of different ones. Can't take the peanut butter ones to school because no peanuts at school, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, crackers and cookies. These are just for the girls and me. And then I am really digging the scoop chips with salsa. And I got some more salsa, I think. I don't know if I got it from Walmart or what. And we've got chips to go in the girls' lunches. Oh, my pan over here. This, it's a lot. I really wasn't expecting, I really think this is gonna last us more than a month, but three huge things of bleach because I love to bleach just pretty much everything. I just love to use bleach. Um, paper towels. Napkins. I asked my husband, I was like, you know, can we just get some napkins for when company's over? He got me 1200 So, <laughs> everybody come over. Um, Charmin toilet paper because it's just the best. It is the best. And we got 900 more sheets, which I don't know how it was in the beginning, but it's a lot. It's a lot of toilet paper, so we'll be good in that area. <laughs> Uh, this my girls both love for breakfast just when they're running late for school they will grab these little bites of the chocolate chip muffins 
Again, not good for you, but you know, sometimes you do what you gotta do. Cereals, we got some Honey Nut Cheerios. Um, a couple of us in the house like these. Everybody likes the Frosted Flakes. Kind of a bummer that my husband can't eat this right now because, you know, he's on the diet and it's one of his favorite with a chopped up banana. This I wanted to tell you guys about because this is just a sweet story to me. My husband got two huge things of Tootsie Pops. Um, years and years ago, he had a friend who had a car business. We also have a car business. We sell handicap vans. And this guy, his name is Clint. And anytime you would go into his car lot, he always had these Tootsie Pops. And he was one of the kindest men we ever knew. And he made a huge impact on our entire family. Um, he passed away a couple of years ago. And so my husband wanted to put Tootsie Pops in our at our new location of our car lot. Um, I don't know, just kind of to honor him or think of him and stuff like that. So that was kind of sweet. We've got some fruit. Um, my husband can have berries, limited amounts, but he can have berries. Uh, me and my seven-year-old are going through oranges, like, I mean, a lot, just a lot. I don't know why I'm craving oranges lately. I got more LaCroix. Um, this is, oh, it's the variety pack, grapefruit, lemon, and lime, so that'll work. And I was gonna get Yoohoo's because I think I was craving them and my husband talked me out of it. And we got these Honest Kids, which my eldest daughter gives to her daughter because she's a super good mom and she gives her baby healthy stuff. So I'm learning some stuff from her as well and being a mommy, even though I'm a mom of five, you can always learn more. Um, K-Cups, it's so much cheaper buying them in bulk, you guys. It's like $44 for 100 K-Cups and I typically, for like 12 K-Cups, I have to spend about 10 bucks. So I just feel like it was a much, much better deal. Um, this is for our cat Ramses, who will eventually be featured in one of our videos. He is hairless, like I had said before, and he is just a hot mess. So he likes his, um, his friskies, and our puppy actually likes it too. She likes her food, but she also likes cat food. I've looked it up, and so far, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the cat will eat her food. She'll eat his food. They kind of just share, and yeah, so I don't mind. They both are very, very healthy. So yeah, that, I think, is everything. Um, and yeah, we look forward to doing more videos for you guys to see what we buy, and then just weird little things in life. So the total for our Sam's haul was $894, which seems like a lot, but I think for a month that's actually pretty good for us because some of the things are going to last for like three or four months. So yeah. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a great big thumbs up. My daughter's laughing. Don't say ooh at your mother. Okay, bye.